by now you've read Elaine Gregerson's and Kathleen Clark's descriptions of how they use a spreadsheet to keep track of the literature that they're reviewing. Um, what I would like to show you is the way that I use a spreadsheet to keep track of, of literature whenever I'm planning a new research project. So you can see on my screen, I've just opened Excel. Um, I have um, some pretty straightforward headers here. I always include the author first and I include um, just the author's last name there. So it's formatted as it would appear in a write-up of my research that follows APA format. Um, then the year of publication, then I include the complete citation. Um, I go ahead and format this according to APA style. The important part is that you have all of the bibliographic info here so that if you do want to go back to this article, it's really easy for you to find it. Um, and if you do end up presenting the results of your action research at a conference or um, to your colleagues that you can point them to the sources uh, that you use. The next thing that I include are these category headers and I have three. You can have a number that works for you. Um, these are mostly things that I have seen in the literature that I'm reviewing. So the project that you're looking at on your screen was related to women who go back and forth between teaching online and teaching face-to-face. -face. So you can see that um, the themes that I've included here reflect that. If I scroll down, um, you can see again that some of the themes have to do, or some of the um, uh, markers here have to do with theory, some have to do with methods, um, some uh, sort of show me how this fits into uh, the project as a whole. Again, you can make your categories here uh, work for you. You don't have to do it the way that I've done it or the way that Clark or Gregerson has done it, but Excel lets you um, provide tags or descriptions or gives you a, a space to record those in a way that is helpful for you. The other parts that I include here are my biggest takeaways and then my thoughts. Now these are a little different for me. Um, my biggest takeaways, uh, this is typically my trying to restate what the main idea or the main argument is in the paper. Um, then the thoughts section is more of a, a free ride and thinking about how this fits into what else I've read. Um, again, this is your literature review um, and you should use Excel if you choose to use it um, with headings that help you make sense of what you're reading and help make connections and help keep your reading organized. As you move forward to the next part, developing a research question, um, and then research hypotheses, uh, being able to go back to what you've learned from the literature is gonna be important. Okay, I hope this is helpful. And again, if you have questions about reviewing the literature or about organizing the literature, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Thanks.